my channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so today in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I transformed this lovely table that I got from the Goodwill as you can see this table is a mess <laughs> there is paint stains um, fingernail polish gum you name it it's on here it's missing a piece of wood um, this has been through the trenches so I'm going to be turning this into a lovely coastal beauty that I hope you guys will enjoy so let's get started Okay, so as usual, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start to wash off this piece and get it prepped for painting. All right, so now that everything is washed off, I'm just going to take my sandpaper and I'm going to remove any of the raised gum or nail polish that is on this table. Alright, so now it's time to paint the table and I'm not going to prime the table because it doesn't really need to be primed. So I'm just going to start to add on my chalk paint. Okay, so now we're going to start to add the wood to the top of the table and I'm just going to be creating 45 degree angles so that we can enclose our table on to the top like so. And now I'm just going to be doing the back two pieces so that they can all join together. So now that we've added our quote unquote trim around um, our table, I'm going to start to add these boards into the middle of the table. And actually when I finish this, I'm gonna have a little bit of room in the back. So I'm gonna have to take that piece of wood and I'm going to cut it down to size here on my table saw. And we are going to add that piece to the tabletop as well. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my wood glue and I'm gonna start to add these boards into the center here using my clamps and my nail gun as well. So I don't do this as often, but before I stain this top, I'm just going to remove any of the rough edges of this wood because it had a lot um, before we stain. All right, so now I'm gonna be using the Czar stain. It's fruit wood and we're going to add this to the top and I'm going to let it sit a while and then I'm going to remove it. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to um, add texture to this piece and I'm just gonna start by just putting a little bit of a different color lighter paint on top and then I'm going to start to take another warmer color um, I believe this color is Savannah don't remember but I'm going to be using my um, spray bottle so it'll be easier to kind of blend all of this stuff together and I'm just going to be layering the paint on top of each other and letting it drip down and then I'm gonna take my tissue and I'm just gonna start to press the paint on to the piece to start giving it that added texture look And 
we're just going to continue to repeat this process on this whole entire body of the table and also on to the legs as well. And you're just going to keep doing this until you get it to your liking. So here I just want to show you guys how it looks. So right here I'm just letting the paint drip. But then you're going to start to see where that texture is starting to come in um, on this side. And you can build up and take off as much paint as you want. So now I'm just going to take my scraper and I'm going to start to kind of distress the sides so I can bring out that black. So now this little end piece here, this is a piece that broke off. I thought I would be able to camouflage it a little bit, which is not too bad, but it's just bothering me. So I'm going to take my Bondo and I'm going to fix this piece. I'm going to continue to add the Bondo on top of each other to make a really bulky layer so that it'll be easier for me to mold it when I'm using my sander. So now after I've sanded it down, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the Bondo and using my smaller putty knife, I'm going to start to just mold it into the shape that it should be and then sand it back down again and then you guys will see how it is going to completely blend in together once I add the paint on there. So while that's drying, I'm just going to add some of my Simply White on top of this wood to give it a more aged look. So now the last step to this is just going to be cleaning off the hardware and what I basically just used was vinegar, lemon, and some soap and water. And I'm just going to start to scrub these babies until they're nice and clean. are all finished I absolutely love this table it is so unique and different um, I love the plank top uh, the color the light color of the wood matches the body so perfectly for some strange reason the body of this piece really reminds me of like a mermaid I have no idea why but it really does I just really love the old rustic aged look that um, I was able to create with the body of this piece uh, the body is sealed with wax and the top is sealed with a polyurethane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.